Hey competition superstars, today I'm going to answer the question, how do you do a good accurate centre line in your test? Okay, so there's a couple of steps to a straight, awesome, impressive centre line. The first one is um, your turn. So here you are at, where are we, K? And you've got to turn onto your centre line. Most people, these are the faults that people do. The first thing they do is they're looking, they're looking down, I don't know what they're doing, I don't know what they're doing, and then they're like, A, O, A, turn! And they overshoot their centre line. If I am on the centre line and you can see A behind me, and if the judge can see A behind me, there's a problem. <laughs> you need to block out A for the judge so they know you're on the centre line. So the best way to make sure that you're on that centre line is you've got to prepare. Prepare, prepare, prepare. So the minute I hit F, no joke, I'm here. Look at me, looking way over my shoulder. I'm not even, I don't know what the horse is doing because I'm staring at C. Nailing, nailing, nailing nailing and then I'm riding two hands, two legs, two hands, two legs, two hands, two legs because that's the next thing. So that turn was good, I've nailed C, I've come around, I've done my turn early. Now there was no reason, there was nothing that I really had to do if you're going well did you use outside drain? Yeah I used outside drain, I made sure I turned but why did I make sure I turned? Because my eyes were set on the prize. You cannot do an accurate turn if you don't know where you're going. So the very first thing is when you do a centre line, make sure you look, you've got to be like a gunshot. Look over your shoulder, because that, look what happens when I'm looking over my shoulder. When I look over my shoulder, it tells the horse, hey, we're going to be going somewhere. My weight automatically goes onto the inside seat bone, which tells the horse, hey, we're going to be turning. And me and the horse are just totally prepared, because you don't actually stay on this centre line that long. Uh, sorry, on this track. So I was at K, so I obviously with a horse can't go fully into the corner. So I arched the corner, but pretty much as soon as I hit it, I'm off again. So her hind legs are still on the track, but her shoulders are off because we've got to nail. And then this is the, this is the clever bit. So in just this little bit here, these are the little adjustments of inside, outside, inside, outside, or wherever I have to go, because I've still got time to line it up and then I can nail it. So remember, you don't have to hit the centre line from A. It's impossible. Your horse is a metre and a half or two metres long. So you've got that little arch to do those tiny little adjustments. And then when you, it's like threading a needle. Now you've threaded the needle or, you know, you still got to thread the needle. But once you've hit your line, you cannot move off it. So now that I'm on my line, I have to stay. And that's the second step. Oh God, how do you keep them there? And I always think two hands, two legs, railway tracks. Two hands, two legs, railway tracks. Two hands, two legs, railway tracks. And I'm actually doing it in the hardest gait, which is the walk. The trot gives you, that was crooked, don't do that. And we have a real, I work on centre lines every single day with Gretchen because she's really wormy, which means she worms her way left and right. And I'm always either putting her left or putting her right to fix that. And then in the halt, she likes to throw, good girl, that was better. Um, she likes to throw her body right. Now the walk is hard because there's no um, real impulsion. So you obviously, normally you enter and trot until you get up the higher grades. And the best thing to remember is to kind of go a little bit medium extended trot. Because the quicker you go, the easier it is to keep something straight. So look, ah! hope that doesn't happen in the test. Find your line. I lost it, nailed it. So that was not so good because she put me, I didn't get all my preparation because we had a big stumble. That can happen. You know, if that was the test, I just would have kept going. Looking, 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 looking. Find it, find it. Now go faster. Bit bigger, bit bigger trot, bit bigger trot, bit bigger trot. Collect, collect, collect and sit. And she does what she always does. Ah, that hind leg is out by a couple of centimetres. Good girl. Um, and like I said, I practice that every day. You should practice it every day. That's still not good enough for a 10. 
So normally we score a seven, a 7.5, if we don't stumble and if we don't have anything bad happen. So why not work on it? Why can't it be a 10? It's gonna require a lot of work, but that's our jobs. If you liked today's episode, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. And if you wanna leave a comment, I read all my comments, so let us know how this helped. I'm super, super, super excited to also let you know that we have a competition training. If you'd like to know how to get better in competition, how to overcome competition nerves, how to master a warm up, how to um, remember your test and learn and remember your test so you don't need a caller and you don't forget it, I've got that all in my free competition training available for you. So click on the link and grab that training and I will see you guys very soon.